action. My name is Luca Zanna from Golden Valley, Moave County, Arizona. Today is the 14th of May, 2011, and uh, this message is directed to our state representative. Specifically, we have a list here, our Arizona Governor Jim Brewer, our State Representative Nancy McLean, Doris Goodale, our State Senator Ron Gould, and also to our Federal Congressman Trent Franks. These envelopes you will receive in the mail, register mail, for knowledge, and they contain exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about that in these uh, the last two months, we realize, documented by facts and by blood tests, that we have a public health problem in Moabe County and in several parts of Arizona. We require you, uh, you have the authority and the means to fulfill your legal and moral obligation to investigate the source of the toxins that citizens are being exposed to at extreme levels to the degree that laboratory blood tests of different citizens are registering consistently alarming results, including 12,000% above normal maximum levels of barium, a chemical not found normally in a natural environment. About a couple of months ago, Golden Valley resident, Mr. Alan De Chico, he didn't feel good, he's been very sick, and he did a very several type of lab tests. Uh, this blood test comprehended also, uh, comprehended also blood, uh, barium, testing for barium and aluminum. The results came back. The maximum level of the barium is supposed to be between 4 and 10, and his blood results came back for, with it just 150. And I'm saying just is sarcastic. Over a thousand percent above was supposed to be the maximum. Other people in the area, they're not really feeling good, especially elder people. And uh, bottom line, they did the same test for barium and aluminum. With about 15 people, exactly, uh, excuse me, 17 people, they did this test, this sort of a project. And we have 87% of them came back with the results of barium in their blood. It was between 500% above to 20,000% above the maximum. For example, we have a lady in Golden Valley that uh, her blood test results came back with a level of 250. Remember, the maximum was supposed to be between 5, 4 and 10. Uh, what is the barium from? We have no idea. All we know that we drink different sources of water. We all test our water. Uh, personally, myself, I drink from a well, and we test the, our well water. There is no barium. Most of the people, they've been found positive with this barium. They come from, uh, they drink uh, water from county, sources or from uh, city sources so the water is clean we live in different environment we don't share the same roofs the same household we also eat different food at this point this barium it is not just a fancy word this is a very scary poisoning element that on the long distance can destroy your immune system can create some sort of several problems miscarriages and especially in the elders and people with pre-existing condition can be deadly we demand today, in front of God, in front of us, the rest of the citizen, people that elected you, taxpayer, and also in front of the next generation, we demand that you, elected official, public servant, don't forget also, you have now the duty to investigate. I included for you, enclosed for you in these letters, in envelopes that you receive in the mail in the next few days. Blood test, the results of the blood test of all these volunteers that tested positive for barium or aluminum. At this point, I don't want to start to think what we guess, what we think may be from. It is uh, the agency's duty of the state and federal agencies to investigate why we have this barium in our blood. That's it, simple as that. So, thank you very much for your time. Please watch the rest of this video and you will see directly from the voice of uh, of these volunteers, what's happening here in Moabe County in this little test. Thanks again, end of the communication. Hi, my name's Al, I live in Golden Valley, Arizona, part of Mojave County, and uh, about three months ago, after being very ill, I went and got some testing done to see what might be in my blood, and what came up is barium, poisoning. Uh, the normal level for reporting is above 10 mcg, slash L and mine was 150 
uh, which is way higher than what is considered normal. I have had the symptoms of barium poisoning, which are numerous. You can look those up for yourself, but they have to do with anything from uh, brain damage, organ damage, um, neurological problems. Uh, recently, after that, about a week ago, I had some other blood work done because I was still not feeling well. And I found that my blood platelets are now extremely low. Uh, they retested them and they became even lower. They're at 66. Normal is 150 to 450. Um, I want to know when our elected state of Arizona, both state and federal, are going to investigate this and tell us what's going on why this is in our blood. It is destroying our immune systems and eventually leads to death through other illnesses. Uh, they have a legal obligation to investigate this and I want to ask all of you, if you think this is not real, go get your blood tested and find out. You don't feel good? Go get your blood tested. Barium, strontium, and aluminum are three of the primary chemicals that are showing up in people's blood. And me personally, I absolutely believe it has to do with chem trails. Look at the skies and do the research. It's real. Thanks. Yeah, my name is Lauren from Golden Valley, and I'm talking about my wife Nancy, who has cirrhosis of the liver, which has never drank alcohol or she's never been around chemicals. So, investigating this, we found to add some metal tests done and found out that she tested very high in barium. Uh, the normal level is 11, and she tested at 250. Uh, we both are now tired a lot. Uh, she has a very hard time breathing. Uh, she can't hardly walk anymore. So uh, something's got to be done about what's going on here. Thank you. Show me the uh, test, please. Hi, my name's Chuck Hartzell. I moved out here to Golden Valley in, in 05. I noticed the chem trails uh, that were going over and was concerned about them ever since I've been here. I've talked to people and a lot of people don't believe in them. But I found out that I could be tested and so I was tested for the uh, barium and the aluminum and the uh, strontium. And uh, fortunately for the strontium and the barium, I didn't test high, but I did test uh, about 500% high for the aluminum. The limit is 3 and I tested 16. I've also had the symptoms of the uh, cramps, uh, the feeling not um, energetic like I should, even though I'm 72 years old, I'm very healthy and uh, I just noticed that um, I just don't uh, have the feelings I should have and also I did stay inside for a while and now I feel better and so I'll be outside in the Kim Trail and that, and I'm going to see and keep testing to see if uh, they are affecting me in any way or whatever. Uh, I think you folks need to do your job and uh, check these out. You're our servants. We pay for your job, and I think you ought to do your job. Thank you. My name's Kenny. I'm from Golden Valley, Arizona, and both my wife and I had our blood tested. We have barium levels. Mine is 190, and my wife's was 150, and that's way above what a person's supposed to have. So I'm seeking help from a naturopath doctor. Hopefully I can afford to save my life and hers. We need your help.